If you want to believe, now is the time. The hope that we may one day stumble upon alien life is greater than ever before. No, it won't be a little green man hurtling in space on a flying disc, it's more likely to be a microorganism or primitive bacteria. However, such a discovery will show that we are not alone in the universe, there may be life elsewhere. Where did we look for life it was once believed that, except for the Earth, the solar system is likely to be a barren land. Rocky neighbors are too dry and cold like Mars, or too hot and hellish like Venus. Other planets are gas giant planets, and the existence of life on these planets or their moons is basically unthinkable. The Earth seems to be a miracle among miracles. But life is not so simple. We now know that life on Earth can thrive in the harshest and most cruel environments, in super cold and super dry conditions, in unimaginable depths of pressure, and does not need to use sunlight as a source of energy. At the same time, our superficial understanding of these obscure worlds has also been greatly expanded. Our rocky neighbors Venus and Mars may have once been mild Earth-like planets, and after the climate of these planets deteriorated, some life may still exist. Several ice moons around Jupiter and Saturn may have underground oceans that can sustain life. A few may even have atmospheres. There are also some places that seem too strange to life that continue to surprise us. Unlike the countless new exoplanets we discover every year, when it comes to worlds in the solar system, we have the ability to send probes to these places to study them directly. David Kaplan, an astrobiologist at the University of Washington, said, We can measure things that cannot be measured with telescopes. They can study things up close, maybe they will fly into the atmosphere or land on the surface, and maybe one day they can bring back samples to reveal whether there is evidence of life on these planets and moons. Matter or fossils may be life itself. The following are the five most suitable places in the solar system to find extraterrestrial life. I subjectively rank them based on the possibility of discovering life and the difficulty of finding it, if any. 5. Venus. At the midpoint, we begin to get to the point. The surface temperature of Venus is enough to melt lead, and the surface pressure is more than 80 times the pressure we experience on Earth. However, perhaps Venus is the home of life last year. These prospects were ignited when researchers detected hydrogen phosphide gas in the very thick atmosphere of Venus. On Earth, hydrogen phosphide is mainly naturally produced by life in anoxic ecosystems, which raises the possibility that there may also be life on Venus responsible for the production of hydrogen phosphide. The most likely scenario is microbial life suspended in the clouds, basically life in the air. Now, the detection results of hydrogen phosphide have been strictly reviewed, and the view that there is life in the air is certainly not supported by all scientists. However, this work and other work exploring the water history of Venus have rekindled people's strong interest in the idea that Venus might once be habitable, and perhaps it still is. The NEU DAVINCI Plus and VERITAS missions that the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, will launch at the end of this DCAD will not discover life. But they will bring U.S. kilo CO2 and its de earring DS QSD on MOR lie. 4. Enceladus. Saturn's sixth star of David is completely covered with clean ice and is one of the highest reflectance celestial bodies in the solar system. Its surface is cold, but there is frequent activity below. The plume ejected by the moon contains a variety of different compounds, including brine, ammonia, and organic molecules such as methane and propane. It is believed that Enceladus has a global aral sea. NASA has discovered evidence of hydrothermal activity deep underground, which is likely to provide a necessary heat source for the evolution and reproduction of life. To some extent, if it weren't for the fact that there is no mission to study Enceladus yet, I think Enceladus should receive more attention than Titan. In the past few years, many suggestions have been discussed, including several suggestions made by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. All proposals are for astrobiological investigations to look more carefully for signs that Enceladus is suitable for life. 
Although digging into the underground ocean is the most reliable way to determine whether there is life on the moon, we may also run into good luck and be able to detect biological signals emitted by low-temperature volcanoes on the moon, volcanoes that erupt gaseous substances such as water or ammonia instead of lava. But it will take a long time. 3. Titan Titan is Saturn's largest moon and another unique world in the solar system. It has the most powerful rocky atmosphere in the solar system except for Earth and Venus. It is filled with different liquids, lakes, rivers and oceans. But they are not made of water, but of methane and other hydrocarbons. Titan is extremely rich in organic matter, so it is already rich in raw materials needed for life. Titan may also have a groundwater ocean, but this still needs to be verified. Scientists are ready for this mission, NASA's Dragonfly mission, which will send an unmanned helicopter to directly explore Titan's atmosphere, let us understand how developed its pre-biological chemistry is. The mission will be launched in 2027 and arrive on Titan in 2034. 2. Ganymede Jupiter's moons have a 10 to 15 mile thick ice shell covering a huge subsurface ocean which is heated by tidal forces. This heating is believed to help form an internal circulation system that keeps seawater flowing and replenishes the icy surface regularly. This means that the ocean floor interacts with the ocean surface, which means that if we want to determine whether there is life in these subsurface oceans, we may not necessarily need to go deep into the seabed. Scientists have discovered clay-like mineral deposits associated with organic matter on Europa and it is suspected that the radiation on the ice surface may produce oxygen, which may enter the ocean under the surface and be used by emerging life. All the elements of life are hidden here. Fortunately, we will conduct a detailed study of Ganymede. In the Ganymede system, Juicy will fly over Ganymede twice. But the most important mission at present is the Europa Clipper, which will fly at low altitude, trying to study and describe the surface of Europa and investigate the underground environment as much as possible. Clipper will be launched in 2024 and reach Europa in 2030. 1. Mars There are several reasons why Mars is at the top of the list. We know that it was habitable billions of years ago when there were lakes and rivers with liquid water on its surface. We know that it had a strong atmosphere at the time that could keep it warm and comfortable. At present, we have a rover called Perseverance on its surface, and its clear goal is to find signs of ancient life. It will even collect samples, and one day we will bring these samples back to Earth for research in the laboratory. So, what does this have to do with finding the current life well? If there are signs of ancient life, there may still be life on Mars. It may not be on the surface, but it may be underground. Several large-scale studies have used radar observations to show that the storage of liquid water may exist a few kilometers below the surface. We have found bacteria that survive under similar conditions on Earth, so it is entirely possible that something also lives in these places on Mars. It is very difficult to get under Mars, but if we have reason to believe that there is something hidden in these reservoirs, then we must go all out and find a way to get there and witness it with our own eyes.